Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to make a dinner plate. If you need to make a flexible texture plate of your own, um, you can find a texture that you like, roll out some mold maker, then roll that onto the texture. But if you already have a texture plate, go ahead and use that. I just found this neat pattern and I really liked it so I made my own. Then to make the plate mold, take an old dollhouse plate and press it into some mold maker and you'll get a nice plate mold. You'll need a cookie cutter that's the same size as the plate. Then take some white clay that you've rolled out and press it onto the texture plate using a roller and really press down. You want to squish the texture onto the clay. And take your cookie cutter and cut out a shape. Mine wasn't perfectly round so I had to cut off the extra tidbits. <laughs> Then, press the circle into the plate mold very, very gently. You don't want to squish any of the texture. You just want it to form to the plate shape. Then use a smaller circle cutter and cut out. Uh, it could be the same thickness or a little thinner. Press down and it should release from the mold pretty easily. And use your fingers to smooth out the edges. You could leave it plain like this, but I like to add a little bit of color. So what I do is I take some soft pastel chalks and just rub it onto the surface with one of my fingers. I wouldn't recommend using a paintbrush because that would get the color everywhere. You just want it on the very surface. You don't want it in the grooves of the pattern that you created. So do that to the entire dish. And it should look like that. You could do the edges in the same color or leave it plain of course, but I like to add some gold. So what I do is after it's baked, I paint it on with a paintbrush. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye!